With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, in this question it is given that let this and this are two mathematical operators, okay? If P, then first symbol P, this second symbol Q is not a tautology, then we need to identify these two symbols here. Okay, and four options are given, we need to check which of the option is correct, okay? So, it is given that this expression is not a tautology, this is the condition. Tautology is, means true. So, it means this whole expression should not be true here. Okay, this is the condition. Okay, and we are given four options. So, suppose option number one. So, in place of first symbol, okay, this plus in the circle, we'll use this operator which is OR operator and implies operator in place of this cross symbol. Okay, so let's put P, okay, OR, P implies Q. And here the condition is that it should be not a tautology means it should always give me false. Okay, the answer should be always false. So, when we will get false here, okay, look here we are having OR operator. So, OR operator is, OR operator give false when both the symbols are false. So, means this should be false, okay, and this expression should also give us false. Okay, then only we will get false in the final answer. But, this condition is not satisfied, let me tell you how. Okay, we are saying that P is false here, okay. So, it means that this P here also it will be false, okay. And false implies anything here, okay. It can be true slash false, okay. False implies anything will give us true, okay. Because here in implies, suppose we are having A, we are having B. So, A implies B will be false only when we will get true implies false condition here, okay. Okay, so option 1 is not satisfied. Now, come to option number 2 here, okay. Let's add option number 2. So, P in first place symbol we will write implies, okay. In second place symbol we will write and operator so p and q here okay now when when we'll get false here okay we should get false here so when we'll get false when this is true and this will give us false here okay then only we'll get final false let's just check this condition here we have considered p is true here okay so this will be true okay and and operator here okay and q suppose q can be true and q can be false also okay so is there any chances that we'll get false with this expression yes there are chances if this will be true and p will q will be false here okay then we will get false as final output of this whole expression here okay so here we can get this condition that true and false will give us false ultimately so this can be satisfied so option 2 is correct okay let's check whether option 3 is correct or not so option number 3 so it will be p first operator will be implies okay P and second operator will be OR here, okay, OR Q here, okay. Let's check whether this is satisfied or not. We need to get false here. So, we need to get false as final output, okay. So, this will be false only when this will be true and this expression of value will be false here, okay. So, let's check here. We are saying that P is true. So, P is true here, okay. OR operator Q can be true slash false also. Here, we are having OR operator, okay. And in, of, in case of OR operator, we know that if any of the input is high or we can say if any of the input is true, the output will get true, okay. But here we need to get output as false. So, we cannot get this condition because our input we are having that is true. So, this is also not satisfied. So, option number 3 is also not satisfied here, okay. And option number 4 is none of these. So, only one option is satisfied, this one. So, this one will give us not a tautology expression. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.